Pokemon Lucky Blocks, and I have to say, this series right here, Trollcraft, is the crappiest. <laughs> Hey, what's going on guys? Sunday here and welcome back to some more Trollcraft. Now, dude, it's been like a week and a half since I got on this server. I was at Minecon and then a lot of things have changed. <laughs> Once I turn around, you'll see that this is pretty freaking ridiculous. <laughs> So I'm at the scoreboard. Let's see if I can scroll up without showing anything. Yeah, look at this. So Captain Sparkles has 25 points. Craner has 18 and I have 17. And the latest troll was the Majestic Man Tower, which you'll see in a second. So <laughs> First things, check this out. Welcome to my new Trollcraft world. <laughs> Craner changed all of the dirt to his ugly grill. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Craner's not ugly. That's rude. But look at this. His face is everywhere. <laughs> On everything. Like, seriously, Craner, you have nothing better to do with your life. <laughs> Uh, give me a minute. I have to go back into the mod folder. Let me s figure out how to change this back. I cannot do this for the entire episode. Okay, I think that worked. There we go. <laughs> oh, freaking get rid of Craner's face. Okay, so like I said, the latest troll was Majestic Man Tower. Check this out. <laughs> I don't know who did it, but look at my base. You may see something different about it. We have a tower added to it. <laughs> I'm not going to give it away. I'm not going to un-PG my video, but for you guys that are over the age of 10, you can probably guess what that is. <laughs> I have an addition onto my tower. Thanks to whoever did that. Good freaking lord. But yeah, I've been busy in between episodes. I got on earlier today, set some stuff up. I found something right here. I was uh, getting rid of all the hidden pressure plates that scream that Craner screamed in my face, and I found something right there. I'll show you in a second. And also, back here, behind this blackout curtains, I built an automation farm. It's for a troll at the end of this video. I'll show you in a second what's back there. First, let me set this up. I've been smelting all of the nether ores. Let's get started on this episode. So what I have to do is first make redstone seeds, which to do that, I have to uh, daisy seeds and red tulip seeds. Yeah, right here. So I have to put this there, right? And then crop sticks like that. Okay, and then I have a watering can over here, right? So if I do this, yeah, there we go. Red tulip seeds. Okay, that made red tulip seeds. What I have to do is make the uh, the red tulip seeds and the daisy seeds uh, mate. <laughs> you, you guys remember this? And then watering can, there we go. There we go. We now have the redstone seeds. Okay, so check this out. Yeah, so if we break this, we just got redstone from a plant. <laughs> that is so broken. I love it. Now, check this out. If I throw this over here, let's identify this to show... Okay, so it's just got 111 stats. That's fine. I don't really care about that. So what I need to do is combine this with these orange tulip seeds right here, right? And then let's fully grow this, right? And we also, uh, down here, if we put a gold ore, right? And then, oh, let's fill that patch in. So if we grow this seed here, oh, wait, that's right. In order for me to grow these, I have to have the ore underneath it. 
So if I do that, right, now this will start to grow. I, I think. Yeah, there we go. That is starting to grow. Okay. Right, so now if I put these sticks in the center here with the gold under there and then do this. Uh, there we go. We now have Ari Gold Seeds. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you ever play Agricraft, get a watering can. This is broken. <laughs> so, dudes, we now have endless amounts of redstone and endless amounts of gold. All from plants. Yeah, there we go. So, if we break this, we just got a gold nugget. <laughs> I freaking love this mod. Okay, so let's identify this gold seed. Hopefully it has good stats. Probably not, though. Oh, uh, yeah, one, one, one. I don't really care about that. Uh, okay, so we have to plant this right there, right? And then we have to put gold. Hold on. Yeah, we have to put gold down there. And then back here, if we put lapis back here. Right, so we're, we're growing lapis here. We have our blue orchid and our uh, pink tulips. You two need to mate. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay, so lapis. Uh, gold needs to grow there. And there we go. Lapender seeds right here. So if I break... Hold on, let's fully grow it first. Yeah, there it is. So if I break this, we just get lapis. <laughs> Free freaking laugh as I love. It. So uh, let's go identify this. Uh, you want to identify every seed you get, okay? Uh, there one, one, one. That's fine. I, like I said, I don't really care. So if we put this here, so we have the gold seeds growing. We have lapis seeds gonna grow there, and then we need the diamond ore right there. Okay, let's first grow these two seeds to fully grown, and then if we make the lapis and the gold mate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. There it is. <laughs> Dimahela. Dimahelia. Dimahelia seeds right there. Okay, let's fully grow this. And there we go. So if we break this, we get a diamond nugget. <laughs> That is sick. Okay, so if I just plant this back down here, uh, the diamond seed. Once I automate this, we'll have endless gold, diamonds, lapis, redstone, anything we need. And it all happened from plants. Like, all of this. I made it all of these pla- This is like a rated R crop farm. <laughs> endless amounts of mating, cross-mating mutations. The this is like the freaking X-Men gone wrong. <laughs> so there we go hold on let me go ahead let me grab this seed over here let's identify this seed right uh and it's probably gonna have low stats let's see yeah all one 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 that's fine okay so dudes i have a goal not for this episode but my goal is to automate all of this Coming soon. First up, what I want to do, I have a plan for this episode. Oh yeah, real quick before we get into the next thing I want to do. Like I said, I was going around my house, breaking all of these things that triggered the command blocks and Craner would yell in my face. I was breaking all of that. And then I got to, to this block right here. See something different? Check this out. Let me break the... <laughs> Look at that! I have no clue who is responsible, but somebody put a ghost block in hopes that I would fall down there to my death. No freaking clue, but well played. <laughs> we caught it just in time. That would have sucked. Okay, so now my base is clear of all the yelling bullcrap, death points, but I, I still have this. <laughs> This lovely tower. Okay, so what I want to do. First up on the list, I need to go find some osmium ore. It's like a blue ore. It just randomly spawns. Let me find this really quick. Yeah, I think this is it right here. Yeah, osmium. Okay, so this is the start 
of a new mod series or, or a new a new mod chain that I want to look into. Uh, I think I don't know how much of the osmium I need. Hold on. Yeah. So what I need to make? Hold on. Let me grab this iron. I need to make a metallurgic infuser. <laughs> Whatever the freak that is. Okay, I have everything for that. Yeah, the osmium ingots. So let's throw uh, the osmium up there. Okay, let's smelt that. Uh, we have our cobblestone to make a furnace. Okay, there we go. We have the infuser. Now, I, I'm trying to think where I want to put this. Uh, because I have this here. I made a furnace generator in between episodes, which is just a bunch of iron and uh, some redstone, which I have. Um, let me figure out a good spot for these, uh, machines. Yeah, I guess we could put it in our man tower. <laughs> oh, freak. Okay, there we go. And then the furnace generator to give that power. Throw the coal in there. Okay, this should be working now. Hold on, so if we put redstone there, right, that gave it power. And then if we do an iron ingot, th yeah, there we go. So this is gonna turn it into infused iron, I believe. Hold on, so if- we, yeah, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, the, oh, wait, hold on, enriched alloy. How do I make the iron? Well, I'm an idiot. <laughs> We're supposed to put coal over there. There we go. And then coal, mix the coal with iron. Right, and this will make the- I think it's infused iron. It looks like a- a chunk of vomit. <laughs> it looks like- it looks like it's got- uh, blue chunks. Yeah, look at this. Looks like vomit. And then we mix this with coal. And then this will make steel, I think. Yeah, there we go. Steel dust. And then if we smelt this, this will give us steel ingots. Hold on, let me make a bunch of this. So we have 14 steel dust. I'm not sure if this is gonna be enough or not. Let's smelt this down there. Okay, so we have seven, eight osmium. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. I have to look into this. I'm looking for one specific item, and once we get this, it's gonna be sick. Uh, I'm trying to think. Hold on. All right, so there we go. We have our steel ingots. Now, there's one more thing I need to do with this machine here. So if I throw in redstone, right, with osmium, this should give us a circuit, like a, a computer thingy. <laughs> We're advancing. We're, okay, let's see. Yeah, there we go. A basic control circuit. That is sick looking. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the last thing I need is something I can't... I need to make a pulverizer, which I don't have. I have an idea. I have this seed here, and I have a book and quill. What? Let's head over to Craner's house real... <laughs> Really quick. All right, so we're at Cra- Oh, that freaking picture. I <laughs> we're at- Yeah, look at this. I came to Craner's house earlier to see what I could do to him for a troll. He has a bunch of stuff. Look at all this stuff he has. Hold on, right uh, up here. Look at all of this stuff Craner has. And this is what I need. <laughs> One pulverized- Let's take a few pulverized iron. Some, uh, some osmium. <laughs> I don't know what you dudes are thinking. Sunday, you're an evil human being. <laughs> Thanks, Craner. And of course, we're not going to leave Craner with nothing in hand. So <laughs> let's throw down a chest with uh, the, the, the seed. There we go. And then a book that says, this is your fairy godmother. I brought you an epic seed of epic. <laughs> You are welcome. And I didn't take anything in return. Nothing at all. I just like to give people things. <laughs> I just like to give things to people. So there you go, Craner. I, I didn't take it. Your fairy godmother just gave you good seeds and took nothing in return. <laughs> okay, let's go make our epic item now. Right, so if we do this with the osmium, surround pulverized... There we go. We have a gas tank. Okay. Right, so if we take this off gas tank, surround it with tin on the bottom, this basic control circuit on top, and then the steel ingots, there we go. We now have ourselves a jet pack. <laughs> we can now fly. Now all I need to do is figure out how to power this thing. Hold on, so, ho hold on. 
We have ourselves a charged jetpack. <laughs> you need a you need a machine called an electrolytic separator, which I don't have, but Craner does. And I'm gonna leave him another book that says, and I totally didn't take any hydrogen from you. I am a fairy, I have wings. <laughs> I'll get this machine soon. It's pretty easy. Okay, so if I throw this on my back. Oh, look at this. I have wings. Now I can fly. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. We can now fly. Okay. Now, dudes, what I want to do. I have this troll set up and ready. First, let's take a look at our achievement book. I want to get some more points. Actually, yeah, we'll look at achievements another time. What I want to do right now, let's let's set up this troll. This is good. It's all back here. <laughs> you, you dudes ready? Behind the blackout curtains is a farm. Not just any farm. A sewage farm. <laughs> I have cows and sheep set up right here. They are just constantly sitting on a block called a sewer, which is really easy to make. And what they're doing is constantly producing sewage. We have over a quarter million millibuckets of sewage sitting right here in this drum. <laughs> you dudes know what sewage looks like. You guys know my channel. I Let's go play with this sewage. Right, so we're at Captain Sparkle's for a house first. Uh, okay. Oh, I got an idea. Yeah, this is all automated. Right, this is his, his wheat farm. It's all automated. <laughs> I, I have an idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What I'm going to do, let's throw down this drum. Right? So this water up here, what he does, I'm guessing there's a lever somewhere. Where he clicks a button. I just have to find it. Yeah, a lever right here. When he clicks that lever, it activates, it drops the water, and the water auto farms all of the wheat. It's just a, it's a basic auto farm. Let's fix this. I have the perfect idea. Remember I had all of these secret pressure plates, right? Hold on, let me set this up. I have all the sewage up there. <laughs> Down there, I'm gonna replace his his permanent water source with sewage. <laughs> Give me a minute. And there we go. <laughs> Last step. Okay, so if I put... I need to do that. Link that. And then cover that. Okay. Now check this out. <laughs> There's a bunch of pressure plates right there. So what Captain Sparkles is gonna do, if he sees it, or if he walks past here, watch this. <laughs> Diarrhea is going all over Captain Sparkle's food. <laughs> and his rivers will forever run sewer unless he fixes it. So what he has to do is go back down here. It's a real simple fix. All he has to do is place redstone there. It'll fix it. It'll turn it off, but... If he's not smart enough, he won't find it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to replant all of his seeds really quick. And uh, we're going to go do something to Craner. We're just going to dump sewer everywhere. <laughs> I think I may have taken this one a bit too far. <laughs> There's sewer absolutely everywhere. <laughs> It just goes on and on forever. Look at this. <laughs> and then I have two books that I'm going to give to Craner and Captain Sparkles. They say, sorry for the sewage. Our sewer pipe broke and the pipe guy said it was an accident. We think he is full of crap. <laughs> we are firing that employee and he will be, he will only be able to afford alphabet soup. I guess he will have the biggest vowel movement ever. Either way, we hope you can find it in your fart to forgive us. Heart. Dukes are us. <laughs> uh, 
I get it. I have issues. <laughs> Let me go ahead, I'll throw down a chest over here in Captain Sparkle's house, and, uh, this is good. Anyways, dudes, for now, I'm gonna end this episode here. If you guys